Airborne transmission is probably the way most people contract COVID-19. UCSD atmospheric chemist Kim Prather says tiny aerosols can fill the air in a poorly ventilated room, allowing for transmission even after an infected person leaves the space. Indoors, aerosols are like being in the room with a smoker. There's no other way to describe it. Um, it. They float out. They're produced just by simply speaking, not by coughs or sneezes. They just come out of people when they're talking. Prather and a dozen other researchers are asking the Centers for Disease Control to update safety guidance to acknowledge that risk. I honestly believe that once, and this is the whole point of the letter, I honestly believe that once we acknowledge it's in the air, that's the main way it's getting to us, then we can implement all the measures that we need to make. make. You know, we can give the proper, you know, put in the proper infrastructure. We can tell people how to make sure their air is clean. Prather says adequate masks, better ventilation, and indoor HEPA filters can go a long way toward lowering the risk inside. Don Milton of the University of Maryland is among the academicians and doctors asking the CDC to acknowledge the airborne risk. The country's moving forward to tackle this pandemic, ramping up vaccines, expanding the use of masks and addressing the disparate impacts of the virus on people of color. But to see, be really successful, we must finally recognize inhalation exposure. The scientists joined several prominent health organizations to ask the government to create guidelines reducing the risk of transmission for workers. Federal officials indicate they are not changing their approach. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.